We are back today continuing the install of the Y8 exhaust system, the Y8 intake manifold, and a Passport JDM intake tube. We are continuing on from last week's episode and I am going to finish installing my Y8 exhaust as well as the Y8 intake manifold and a password JDM intake tube. It's kind of an overview, it's not a step by step video. It was very meticulous. It was very much a pain in my ass to get the old throttle body off and intake manifold off and get the new system on and running properly. As you saw in our track day video a couple months ago, the car was running well and that was with everything on. So I did work out all the kinks, but it was, it was definitely a pain in my ass to do. Just for forewarning if you're thinking about it. I don't know if I would do it again. If I go back in time, I probably wouldn't. But I think overall the car will be better off with it. Enjoy the video. So today I am going to start the process of switching out my intake. So I'm gonna try to take this as slow as possible and not rush because I don't wanna mix up hoses that are supposed to be vacuum or coolant. So I want this to be done right. First things first, the air box has to go. Just to get that out of the way so I can get to the intake and all that stuff. So it should come out pretty easily because it's pretty loose already. Crazy how much space there is without that box there. So anyway, we there's a bracket here that is just to support that box and I don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that off. So I'm gonna start labeling things and I'm doing this so I don't mix up injector plugins. I don't wanna mix those up. Also, coolant lines and the vacuum lines, I don't want to mix up either, obviously, because I don't want to switch those. I'm gonna start just using masking tape and, you know, marking each part as I go. So when I put the Y8 manifold back on, hopefully it'll be an easier process. Kind of just may handle this piece off part of the intake tube where the filter sits for the Y7. That's off. Take this rubber grommet off as well. Now we have pretty much the intake and everything is visible, so we can start marking things on that. One thing I forgot to do, which is okay because I haven't gotten too far, you need to depressurize the fuel system before you really start pulling things off, like the fuel rail and you know the fuel filter if you're doing that and anything with fuel. Really, the easy way is to pull the the fuse for the fuel pump and then try to turn the car on, and that will depressurize the system. So I pulled the fuse. I'm just going to try to turn the car on. I'm going to go ahead and put the fuse back just so I don't lose it. That happens all the time. So I'm going to actually take off this guy and then I'll come away with it. the throttle cable here. Okay, we're gonna undo the brake hose. I'm 
I am going to take, undo the fuel hose to the fuel rail now. Can you see me? And put the red towel here just to get any fuel that comes out because some will come out. been disconnecting stuff and I knew this was gonna happen but it's always more this is the coolant line just disconnected just hanging out right here now um, so that gushed fuel or coolant this way and so what I've done is just drain the radiator um, down there so you've seen that in one of Rob's videos just did that so because once the intake comes off it's still gonna gush uh, coolant out of here so the less that's in the system the better because I'm ready to undo the bolts that hold the intake on. I think they're 10 millimeters supposed to be using this I'm just gonna be very gentle you don't want to you know gouge the block where the intake sits so I'm just trying to just get the intake away which it's moving pretty nicely there we go I think it's actually free don't forget about the bracket on the back of it almost off. There's lots of connections here guys. So I'm taking the throttle body off now to get to a coolant or I think it's a coolant hose underneath it that's still connected. This is the Y7 manifold out and fuel reel. So pretty much good to go. Gotta get that gasket off. Hopefully it's not a pain. As you can see, I have this towel down to try and protect the engine because I'm about to put this gasket stuff on it's pretty gnarly so I don't want to dissolve anything that's important. So here is the old exhaust over there. That's the DX, and this is the new one, which is for an EX. So you can see that is where the cat would go. Um, that's my race cat. And so you see that the problem is with switching out these exhausts is technically the pipes are two different, two different lengths because the cat on the DX is part of the header. And on the EX, it's part of the pipe. So, I'm gonna switch those out. Here we are. Um, seen a few things I've been doing this morning with the exhaust, and I finally got the intake sort of on. Um, it's not bolted up yet. We're trying to get all the connections done. I got the intake here. It's just figuring all out where everything goes because it's all different. It's the same, but it's different. So we're just trying to get it all placed and then we'll bolt all of it down.
test, put the intake on, let's see what happens. The Y8 intake swap is all done. Um, there's been some troubleshooting, but we're gonna see if it works now. Idling really, really high. Um, I don't know why. Because I have it idling, I think, all the way close. Okay, I am switching out the gasket now to try to solve my problem. I think there was a vacuum leak from the thermal gasket I bought before. So hopefully this works. Here is the finished product. The Y8 intake manifold. And I have the Y8 throttle plate. But I also reused my throttle body from my Y7 and then my Y7 uh, fuel reel and injectors. If I had switched to Y8, it would have ran rich because I'm still running the, the Y7 computer. And then here is the password JDM intake. Pretty easy install. You use this clip to attach it to the tube, filter to the tube, and then these two clips mount this rubber gasket to the throttle body and then it comes with these two holes pre-drilled here and here this one is a sensor I can't remember what it is at the moment and then this other hole is just to burn some gases that are trapped inside the valve cover so they get transported back into the system to be reburned instead of being vented to the atmosphere. So that's it. Everything pretty much works now with the system I've done, the Y8 swap. Um, I don't know if I would go back in time and do it again. I'm not sure if it's worth it. You know, I need to become a better driver to really see how these mods affect the car. I'm hoping overall it will help the engine just breathe better and work in a race setting more efficiently. So next week we are going to install my Aero Catch hood pins. I'm having an issue with my hood closing properly after I open it. So the Aero Catches will help a lot at the track because I constantly have to open the hood, check the engine while I'm you know, going to these track days. So stay tuned, please subscribe, like, comment, share, go buy some stickers. See you guys.